That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. You can't honestly expect me to believe that Bill and Brooke would do something like that. Unfortunately, it's true. When you were going through your postpartum depression, your husband and your sister kissed. Is this a bad time? Never for you. I couldn't stop thinking about our conversation, what you said about Taylor. Now, I know I dismissed it, but then it is Taylor. So I need to know exactly what she said. It's not what she said as much as the way she said it. It's as if she were questioning my feelings for my wife. My sister and my husband, it, it, it didn't happen. I understand your reaction. Our first instinct is to deny I'm what? not having some kind of psychological reaction to this. I wouldn't make something like this up. Did you see them? No. Well, then you don't know anything. I overheard it. You overheard them talking about kissing each other. And making a promise to keep it from you. What exactly did she say? I thanked her again for getting Katie through the depression and back home. And she gave me this, uh, well, it was a stare. And she said, sounds like you love your wife. Okay, well, that's not so bad. It's pretty innocuous, actually. No, it wasn't innocuous. There was, a, there was a tone in her voice and a challenge in her eyes. I can't pinpoint it exactly, but it bothers me. She has been suspicious of us. Me, especially. Nothing new there. But I'm not going to let her do this. I'm not going to let her use her influence to upset Katie just because she hasn't gotten over the fact of losing Rich. Tell me what you think you heard. Brooke asked Bill to swear that no matter how guilty or how tempted that he never tell you about the kiss that happened between them. And Bill's response was? You'd never hear it from him. <sighs> OK. Then what? Well, then I <laughs> came back down here, and that's when I found you. So this conversation that you overheard, it happened earlier today? When yes. you went to look for them? Right. See, that's why it can't be right. Because afterwards, Brooke came back downstairs, Donna came over, I had a wonderful visit with my sisters, and Brooke was fine. She didn't seem upset or anxious. She certainly didn't seem like she had been conspiring with my husband. That is exactly why I'm telling you this. Brooke can become dangerous when she's attracted to a man. It's like she loses perspective. She gets tunnel vision. I, I know it was only just, maybe it was one kiss, but you know Brooke and you know her history. It never ends with just one kiss. You know what? Your nerves are shot. You need to sit down and relax a little bit. I just, I couldn't stand it if anything came between my sister and me. Nothing will. Yeah, the Taylor in the mix, sticking her nose in. Let her suspect whatever she wants. She can't prove anything. She doesn't know anything. She knows that we've gotten closer. I don't know what I would have done without you. You would have been fine. Yeah, I'm not so sure, you know, uh, not knowing what happened to Katie, uh, where she was, I had all sorts of conflicting emotions, Brooke, and while well, you helped me challenge that, not to mention your baby skills. <laughs> Do you remember the first time you changed a diaper? Yeah, that wasn't pretty, was it? <laughs> no, but you're an old pro now. Thanks to you. It goes both ways. When I came back from that honeymoon from hell, I wasn't sure which direction to go in without Ridge, and you were there. You and Will, you needed me. Let me tell you something. You are well out of that relationship. I mean, any loser who's going to give you up over a few text messages didn't deserve you in the first place. Wow. Who ever knew I'd be on the receiving end of this fierce protective streak? Anybody ever tries to hurt you, they're going to have to come through me. And it won't be pretty. You know what really surprised me about being with you? We were in Aspen, and everything was chaotic, you know. Katie had us running around, and you were so tired. You couldn't even see straight. And wet. Don't forget wet. Yes. Drenched, actually. I believe I woke up that way. 
And Liam and Steffi, they send us out to take a breath of fresh air and walk through the streets of Aspen. I mean, with everything else that was going on, those moments that I had with you, I found the most peace. Okay, I get it. This isn't about me. This is about you, your feelings. It, you lost Ridge to Brooke. You've had this animosity toward her, you, this rivalry for years. You don't trust her, I understand that. But seriously, Taylor, for you to come in here and say these things, it's, it's beneath you. No, you, you know, you are right. You're absolutely right. Brooke is not my favorite person, but because of those bitter experiences, I see her clearly. You don't. You are looking at her through the, these adoring eyes of a little sister, and that makes you vulnerable. That's why I'm telling you this. It's not to get back at your sister for anything. I'm trying to help you. I want, I want to give you a heads up so you can see that there could be some potential danger down the road. I don't know how to convince you of this. You can't. Okay, well, please, just let me finish. Let me try. Look, I, I've been aware of this problem for a while. I've been watching. I've, I've, I've seen how Brooke and Bill have been getting closer. I've seen that there's a new connection. And I know that they've been through a lot together. Ridge had just left Brooke. And then you disappeared, and Bill was all alone. You arranged for them to go to Aspen. Of course, you knew that they were going to get closer, and they did. And then there were the other things that you didn't arrange. Ridge was a no-show. He wasn't there for Brooke. And Bill escorted Brooke to that party. And then when Stephanie was dying and she went up to Big Bear, who do you think went there with her? Who do you think helped her through all of that? Bill. And then today, did you see them when you were telling them, you were confessing and pouring out your heart about how you've been putting them together and that you had arranged the balloon ride? Did you see that? No, what did you see? Something. Guilt, maybe. I... Oh my God, something, maybe. I mean, do Look, you realize how vague you're being? Uh, listen, Katie, I was so upset about this a few weeks ago, I confronted Brooke. And what did she say? She slapped me. Well, I don't blame her. What you're suggesting is disgusting. Nonetheless, this is how Brooke operates. Look at her history, come on. It doesn't matter if they're married. Eric and Ridge and her Deacon, her daughter's husband, her own daughter's husband, why do you think it would be any different for you and that she would have any consideration All right, for all right, you? stop it. I'm not listening Look, to any more of this. Please, please, Katie, I am not trying to hurt you. I am so sorry to have to say these things to you. I, I just don't want to see you be complacent, and I don't want to see you get blindsided and lose your family and see it destroyed like I did I, mine. I, I can't, I, I can't listen to any more of this. I know, I know, I don't blame you. I, that's fine. Why don't you call her? Call Brooke, tell her to get over here, look her in the eye, and you confront her. There's no way Taylor can know about that kiss, right? Not unless she's psychic. I mean, you didn't tell anybody, Justin or Liam. No, no, of course not. That was an intensely personal moment, Brooke, between us. Not to be shared with anyone. sure how I was going to be without Ridge if I could be with somebody else and that kiss made me feel like there was a possibility I mean not not with us but you know a new chapter for me down the road you're a magnificent woman Brooke and I will definitely be life after Ridge you said you'll never forget about that kiss me neither. But it's behind us now. For Katie's sake. Subject closed. Good. Katie? 
Hey, um, can you come back? Uh, yeah, right now? Yeah, I need to talk to you about something. It's important. Oh, sure, I'll be right there. Is she all right? Weird. Yeah, I and mean, she just sounded really serious. You better get over there. Well, let me know. Okay. She's on her way back, so we'll get this whole thing straightened out. Listen, uh, again, I, I didn't want to hurt you. I didn't want to have to say something that could upset you. I know your intentions are good. I know you didn't want to hurt me, but you misinterpreted. If you need me, call me. I'll be fine. Is everything okay? Yeah, come in. What's going on? Is it Will? Is he no, all right? No, Will is, is fine. He's sleeping soundly. Oh, good, okay. I was worried. You sounded kind of upset on the phone. A little bit off. Katie. What is it? What's going on? What's wrong? Come in. Taylor. I need to talk to you. Have a seat. Uh, well, I won't take that long. I assume it's about Katie. I'm very concerned about her. We're all concerned about her. My wife went off the rails. You brought her back, and I'll always be grateful for that. And I'm sure you wouldn't want to do anything to hinder that progress that she has made. That goes without saying. So, then it shouldn't be that difficult to stop seeing Brooke. Bill, I know you're a good man, and you wouldn't be the first to be ruined by her. I have no patience for cat and mouse, Taylor. So why don't we just be straight with each other? Earlier, you seemed to question my feelings for my wife. Now you're making insinuations about Brooke. It's not too hard to figure out what you're thinking. What I know. Spell it out. You betrayed your wife. You kissed your sister. Tell me what's bothering you. How many times have you said that to me? Or to Donna, our big sister, always trying to make everything right in our world. And you did the same thing for my family, for my son and for my husband when I left. You were suffering from postpartum depression. You stepped in and you took care of my guys just like they were your own. Will is my nephew. And Bill is your brother-in-law. Okay, do we really need to revisit all of this? You weren't well, you went away, I stepped in and took over, and now you're back and life goes on. I need to talk about it. Okay. So after I left, I... I, I sent you both to Aspen. 
and I set up this romantic excursion on a hot air balloon and... You weren't thinking clearly. No, I wasn't. The depression made me think that I was dying and that I was going to leave my son motherless. And I wanted Will to have a family more than anything else. I wanted him to have his father and his older brother and since, and since I couldn't be there, I wanted him to have you. Honey, are you really sure you want to talk about this? I was away from my guys, my, from my husband and my son. And you were, were giving them what they needed. You, you, were, you were giving them what I couldn't. That's all over now. And you lost Rich. Which I know had to hurt like hell. And he didn't come to Stephanie's party and and Bill was there for you. He supported you. And then when Stephanie died in your arms, that must have been devastating. But, but Bill was there. And he supported you through that, too. Where are you going with all of this? I had a long talk with Taylor. Oh, Taylor. OK. <laughs> I appreciate everything she's done for you and been there to help you through this time, but if she's saying things to upset you... Like what? Taylor's been watching you and Bill, and she's concerned. Does she have a reason to be? No. No, of course not. Bill loves you, and he loves Will, and all of you as a family, and he's very happy that you're back. We all are, and you're getting better and better every single day. But you don't deny that you and my husband got closer while I was gone. I already told you, I, I have a new appreciation for Bill and a new respect. I think he's a great guy. Yeah, you said that. Listen, Taylor told me something, and... I didn't want to believe it. I, re I refused to believe it, but she was adamant. So I'm just going to ask you. Did you and Bill kiss? It's true. No, 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 no. No. Before you say anything else, I'm just, I'm gonna ask one more thing and I, and I want you to tell me the truth. I don't want you to lie because I will know. Do you have feelings for my husband? It's a simple question. Yes or no? I want the truth. <laughs> 